points. And Roger Ailes, who's the head of Fox Political Operation. We don't we don't use the N-word, the other N-word news with Fox. It's just Fox. But they are a top-down organization. Look how they foisted George W. Bush upon us. A decision was made by the corporate establishment Republican Party that George W. Bush was the next imbecile, the next puppet. The, just like Ronald Reagan that they were going to install in the White House, he was going to do as he was told, and he was going to execute America. He was going to execute the corporate agenda. That is how they do it. They have all of the establishment media on their side. We need our own. And thank goodness for the internet. I mean, we can you organize ourselves over the internet. We can donate $5 to Howard Dean to get him elected president. We can donate $10 to then Senator Obama to get him elected. We have the power. This is a message I cannot stress enough. We have the power. We decide who wins and who loses. We are the numerical majority. We always have been. We always win. We get women the right to vote. We get gays the right to marry. We get women the right to control their own body. And women have the right to privacy. We get civil rights for black people after all the years. We are America. We always win. and we don't act. You have the power. I have the power. People say to me, Norm, what is one vote? I only have one vote. It doesn't matter. The easy answer now is tell that to 537 people in Florida. That's the easy answer. Or a couple of thousand in Ohio. If you want your one vote to be the decisive vote, then sadly, I get to be the bearer of bad news, you have to run for president. Or get yourself on the Supreme Court, which is even more powerful these days. Your vote in combination with the votes of your friends and your neighbors and the like-minded people. 70 million of us marching to the polls elected a man named Barack Hussein Obama, looking the way he does, President of the United States, seven years after Now, when you look at these polls, they say that this is a tsunami for the Republicans now. You understand what's going to happen if the Republicans get either House of Congress, they're just going to stop the government in its tracks. They will not, they'll do it in 1994, they'll just shut down the government again. If you think we're frustrated now, just wait. There will be nothing. It will be worse. There will be nothing happening. And then we'll be really frustrated. The Republicans will say, see, nothing's happening. you got to put us back in power. Never, ever underestimate the power in your hands. You have to act with me. I have to work with this gentleman and this young lady and this young lady and that young lady and that man. We all have to work together, march to the polls, stay engaged, even when we get discouraged. We've got to take the long view. How long was it that women were agitated for the simple right to vote? It was the entry before the Civil War. Lucretia Mott. Elizabeth Cady, Stan, Susan B. Anthony, they were agitating for the right for women to vote before the civil belief in war, and they didn't get it until 90 years ago. There are people alive here today who were born when women didn't have the simple right to vote in the United States. When I was born in 1959, black people couldn't sit at a simple lunch counter and have a cup of coffee. How did all of this change? Because we made it change. And we got dispirited when Ronald Reagan came in and he made his deal with the devil with Jerry Falwell and the moral majority and they claimed God is their own. They went on the offensive, it's time for us to stay on the offensive.